Hello everybody, good morning. I'm going to make the asparagus cheddar stuffed chicken breast cutlets. This is heat oven for 400 spray rimmed baking pan with cooking spray. Place chicken on pan. So it seems simple. For some reason I have a habit of doing 425 even when it says 400. <laughs> I'm going to use the 100% extra virgin olive oil cooking spray. It's fat free and zero calories. This is the part I'm not excited for. I hate dealing with raw chicken, but it's a part of life. I'm just going to use these little tongs. Now I'm going to go wash my hands. Extra, extra good. Chicken is placed. I'm also going to have some vegetable pasta, some broccoli. Crystal's going to have the pasta and spinach. It's at 425 now, so place these puppies in here. So there it is, all complete. It actually looks really, really good. And if I could smell, I'd probably say it smells really, really good. I also have my broccoli and my veggie pasta. Dishwasher is clean. Took out the little silverware part and I just put it on the counter because it's so much easier because knives go here, forks and spoons go there. I'm becoming crazy obsessed with looking out here on our porch because I got Crystal a gift and it should be here today. Oh my god, the wind outside is literally frightening. I woke up like literally, literally, I know I say literally all the time, but I woke up literally at least 20 times because of the wind and I swear we were going to get knocked down our hill. Uh-uh, honey child. I am at a really, really vulnerable state right now. I have been lying to you all. I really, really am not a liar. It's, it's not who I am. I'm the type of girl who is coated with misery. I'll hide it, you know, for so and so time, but eventually it just has to show. I have an eating disorder. Some might say it's not as serious as anorexia or bulimia. With what I go through, it is just as serious as those things. They are literally killing me. I cried so much last night. I have been feeling guilty, horrible. This isn't what I wanted. This is not what I wanted for me. I wrote Crystal a letter last night because I feel like I can express myself 110% so much more via writing than I can with my words. January 1st, 2015, I was so headstrong on succeeding in my weight loss this year. I thought January 1st, 2015 would be a magical day. A date on the calendar is not going to change my eating disorder. It is not magical. I don't talk much about my weight loss or my weight gain or my weight struggles. Behind closed doors, I am trying my hardest to heal privately. I really do feel like it's time though for me to be honest with you guys. I have not been on track. I have been binge eating at night. I wake up and I think, okay, today's gonna be different. It's not, it never is. I have been so ultimately terrified to weigh myself. My binging would become a reality. I stepped on the scale. I weighed 384.8. That is 0.2 lower than I weighed a month ago. To you guys, I have gained around 11 pounds. I was watching my 600 pound life last night, which is honestly one of my favorite shows in the whole world. A girl named Amber was on there. It was a hard episode to watch. I literally felt like that could be me in a couple years. 
I saw myself. She didn't just have my name, but she had my struggles. We shared so many similarities that my heart was literally breaking the whole time watching it. I don't want to become 600 pounds. I don't even want to be 384 pounds. Writing that letter to Crystal, it was such a healing thing for me. I shared the letter with my aunt, and now I just feel like I need to share it with you guys. I'm not a bad person. I consider myself to be kind, understanding, generous, friendly, caring. But there comes a time when all of that just kind of vanishes, and the only thing you can really reflect on is that you do have an eating disorder, and that's kind of who I became. Me vlogging only shows so much of my life, and it definitely shows that I can show you what I want to show you, but I can definitely not show you what I don't want to show you. I took out so many major parts of my life. I did not talk about any of this. It was something I've been dealing with desperately and wholeheartedly. I've been just dig deep within myself. I really don't know if that makes me selfish, it makes me a liar, but I just don't want any of you to be upset with me. I could see why you would be. I'm going through a lot. Thank you guys so much for listening. The letter will be down underneath my links and you guys can read it all word for word and I really hope that you just appreciate my honesty. We're about to open this box because we got some new board games. Crystal's mom actually got these for us and it's like a surprise so we have no idea. There's two of them. We have Matter of Fact. It's a trivia challenge and I think I know what this one is already, though. Trivial Pursuit. 2,400 of the very best questions. Oh, this looks fun. I think we're going to play these tonight for two or more players so Crystal and I could play by ourselves. Two to 36 players on this one. Holy shit. Crystal and I are about to play the new Trivial Pursuit game. And look how cute these are, like how colorful and stuff. I love it. Ooh, Crystal's probably gonna whoop my ass though. Gotta be honest, we've been playing for like an hour now and Crystal <laughs> only has a green pie piece and I have none. This has got to be one of the hardest games ever. And Charlie, are you playing with us, baby? Are you green? Is that why you have a green right here? Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, he has an itch. <clears throat> For putting the game away because it was too hard. Crystal had a piece, so she wins. Good job. Playing the game, matter of fact, and I actually really enjoy this one. I'm winning, by the way. I'm the white one. And I'm going to have a little snack. It's a Noni's Thin Addictives. It's a pistachio biscotti. Are you ready? Yeah, just open it however. <laughs> I got you the Sega Genesis. So what do you think? I was not expecting Are you happy? Yeah. Yay! That's hard to believe. That's got 80 That thing is in. tiny. Yep. Look at that right there. Parts you can go right in. <laughs> and it comes with two of these? Wireless? I guess so. Yeah, they're wired. Wow. This is cute. You could put so this down here. That comes out. She's playing it right now. And she likes it. Yay! That's a horrible noise. What are you doing? I'm about to be a little creeper. I'm going to sneak up on Crystal and see what she's watching. Try, try to watch this without laughing or grinning. React channel. So this is what she's watching. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the React channel, but like old people, kids, YouTubers, etc. They all react to like funny videos and it's actually kind of funny. Crystal. Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. Oh, do it again with your hand. She was shooing me away. 
What'd you just say? I'm done. Head massage. How's that feel? <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> You're so cute. I can't. I can't. I can't. Smokes. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Why? No. Crystal wants to delete my videos. Why do you always want to delete my stuff? Take your socks and go elsewhere. <laughs> that was like the weirdest segment I've ever okay. <laughs> I won't put any. Let me see. Oh, I'm still filming. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I stopped filming. Oh my god. Let's see the first part. Okay. Are you still. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Paparazzi. 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 So I'm gonna end my vlog for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.